Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For those of you who are new to this channel, this is a Cancer-only channel. Um, Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, which is Tarot of Light. The link is in the description box below okay i hope all my cancer babies are doing well staying happy safe and healthy let's go ahead and get shuffled up here guys holy spirit angel spirits and guides what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have today for my cancers please clarity guidance and love messages for my cancers please sun moon rising and venus signs for august 20th please love messages advice clarity and guidance for my cancers please spirit all right my loves so if you are currently subscribed welcome back and if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every month. I give away free readings, um, tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, um, incense, crystals, jewelry. Um, we're going to start throwing uh, runes, if you would like runes or tarot dice, um, NIV version, Bibles, um, any type of spiritual or self-help book. Um, it could be Joyce Meyer, Tony Evans, Reiki healing, chakra cleansing, um, anything to help you along your spiritual journey, okay? So in the description box below, in the first paragraph there, you're going to see an email, cancerbabytarot at gmail.com. You're going to go ahead and email me your YouTube name and what you would like to win in the giveaway okay so um be sure to like share comment subscribe click that notification bell uh so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced okay all right loves let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle message so cancer i feel like you have someone here that took their sweet ass time in coming in to apologize to you OK, now all of a sudden they want to rush in and work on a connection with you. OK, problem is the shoe is on the other foot now and you could give a rat's blip. <laughs> you could care less. You could literally care less cancer. OK, and you know why you could care less? Because you're not dumb. You know, listen, Linda, if you're not talking to me, you're talking to somebody. You, you know, we had an issue and you went to go check out the neighbor's yard. You know what I'm saying? Check out other options. And because you couldn't find something as good as me, you know what I'm saying? Now here you are and you're back because if you're not chasing me you're chasing somebody you see what I'm saying if you're not looking for me I know you're not sitting home doing nothing right and you know this your intuition is telling you this you know that this person went off to go you know what I'm saying talk to someone else and because it didn't work out here they are right and who wants to deal with that I don't want to deal with that I don't you don't want to deal with that so we have here the seven of wands you're blocking this person. You're pushing them away. You just don't want to deal with it. Like, I don't, you know, like, you know, I need a person in my life that turns to Jesus when we got a problem, not other women or other men. I'm joking. <laughs> you know, like my point is like, I want someone in my life that if we have a problem, right? You know, you turn to a friend, you turn to a family member. How do I work this out? What should I do? You talk to each other, right? Not that you go off and see if there's something better. And then, you know what I'm saying? When you realize, oh, well, maybe I should go back to my cancer. That's not cool. We don't do that here. You know what I'm saying? That's just not acceptable, okay? Um, and you know, by the length of time that it took for this person to come back and want to work on the situation, you know that this person went off with someone else and it just turned you off. Like, you got your pride, you got your ego, you have your self-respect, you're not doing it, okay? We have miracles here. And you know what, Cancer? I, I think you see it as a miracle, that you are finally free of this person because i have to be honest i feel like when the whole split up actually happened you weren't doing that well okay i feel like it hurt you you weren't doing that well you were stuck on this person for a quick minute you waited for this person for quite some time okay you did and i feel that the fact that this person has come back and you're realizing that it's it's almost like it takes for this person to come back for you to realize 
I don't want you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, like you don't, me and you are not equal. You do not feel, you know, you do not give to this connection the way I give to this connection. I wasn't able to just go off and start talking to somebody else. So that means that there, there is no equal give and take here. You do not feel, we do not meet eye to eye here. We're not seeing eye to eye. We are not on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it almost takes for this person to come back and want to reconcile for you to be like, you know what? I don't want to. And it's almost kind of like a shock for you too. You're like, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So Cancer, you are calling in your perfect counterpart, okay? You're calling in somebody that, you know, you can truly build a life with someone that is on the same page as you. Um, so Someone that, you know, respects you, loves you the way you love them and respect them. We've got professional assistance here. So guys, I feel like you may be getting some uh, spiritual assistance. And when I say professional assistance, like maybe you might be going to get a Reiki cleansing or maybe... Um, a tarot card reader, or you're getting some type of assistance here on how to manifest, how to clear your chakras. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're getting, you're learning, you're studying here. And with professional assistance, you could have just bought a book or be watching YouTube videos on how to clean, you know, clear your chakras, manifest the right way, how to visualize and meditate correctly so that you call in the type of love that you truly want. Okay. Cancer. Um, so let's see here. Spirit, what clarity do we have here for my cancers, please? We've got a time to give rather than take. You see what I'm saying? Um, I feel that this is a little bit of an energy of uh, tithing cancer because see hold your vision so this is an energy with a time to give rather than take this is um the universe telling you you have to give you have to surrender instead of saying i want it's saying i know that 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 you know god the universe the divine has already given to me that's really what i'm getting here with a time to give rather than take you're learning you're learning here how to attract do you understand what i'm saying um with the law of attraction, when, when the quote unquote, the word take, it's, I want this person in my life, or I want this relationship, or I want this love. I want to take, I want to take it. I want it to be mine. Right. Whereas with a time to give, it's, you know what? I'm surrendering to the divine. I'm just going to keep giving love to those around me. And eventually God, the universe, the divine will bring it back to me right? And that's it, you know, and you're learning the process of how to do this cancer. You're learning, okay? Um, either you've hired a spiritual advisor, or you're, you know, going to tarot readers, or just, you know, maybe even, even counseling. You know what I'm saying? You're learning how to clear your energy here. We have authority. You're learning how to take control of your life, of your emotions. That's beautiful aptitude and you know you can do it you know you have what it takes you know you have what it takes you're knowing your worth you're knowing that you can do this spirit what clarity and guidance love messages do we have here for my cancers please clarity guidance love messages for my cancers please we have celebrations. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. Yeah, you're ready to get back out there, Cancer. You're ready to celebrate, live your life. You know um, you know that you have great coming in. Mountain, know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. So know that no matter what, the divine has your best interests at heart, Cancer, okay? But you also have to be practical. You know what I'm saying? Remain cautious. Keep your eyes open. If you see a red flag, then, you know, call it out. That's a red flag. I'm not going to go there, you know? We've got balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. You see what I'm saying? So, this person coming in and out of your life, in and out of your life, and you just dealing with it and eating with it and agreeing and all that other stuff. No, a great relationship can hold through the hard times, Cancer. You see what I'm saying? It can hold through the hard times. It doesn't come apart. It doesn't crumble. You know what I'm saying? A great relationship, you guys balance each other out. You don't just fall apart and then, you know, this person comes back and, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right or whatever. Okay, I'll forgive 
give you, you know what I'm saying? That's not what it's about. It's about equal give and take. And you see, we got balance here and that contract card there, that unequal give and take. No good. We can't have that in a relationship. We've got passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun. So with this person that you walked away from you, um, they may have walked away from somebody that they had more passion with, or it could have just been lust between you and this person. No, they walked away. That was my first opinion was right. They walked away um, with a third party. They got seduced by a third party. They went to go seduce a third party. There was someone here where they had a lot of chemistry with a third party. Someone here was more fun than you were. This is your typical, this is your typical, um, Okay, when you're in a relationship with somebody and you get to really know who this person is and there's arguments and there's fighting and there's all that other stuff, that happens because you're in, an, you're in a relationship and you know who this person is. So what ends up happening is during these periods of time, someone will meet a new guy or meet a new girl and that person is very carefree. They don't know this person. They don't know how this person truly is in a relationship. So they're fun and, ah, and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person went off and, you know, fed their ego, fed their passion with the other woman. We've got the snake here. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder and the other woman. You see what I'm saying? This person went to go dabble in someone else's yard, okay? And now they want to call you and say that they love you. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. No, you don't. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? No, you don't love me. You know what I'm saying? We have a problem and instead of you being, you know, an adult, and talking about it you go and sleep with other people and go have one night stands you're all over tinder or whatever else plenty of fish whatever you know what i'm saying like no you know what i'm saying all because what that person is more entertaining than actually sitting down and having an adult conversation mysticism okay this person thinks that they're not talking to you and you don't know where they are. No, there's no mystery there. I know that you're off talking to other men and other women. You know what I'm saying? Guilt. You see what I'm saying? This person does have guilt because they know that there's no mystery here. There's no mystery on what they were up to and what they were doing. Okay? We have confusion here. And we have impartiality. You see what I'm saying? This person is very confused. It's imbalanced. And the reason why this connection works for them, the reason why it's perfect for them, because it's imbalanced and the scales are tipping in their favor. Do you see what I'm saying? They get to go off. They get to do God knows what behind your back here. You know what I'm saying? Then they feel a little bit of guilty and then they start to feel confused. Like, oh, maybe I should go back to my cancer. And then they come back with all this uneven, you know what I'm saying? It's just not even here. You got two uneven scales, two uneven scales and balance here. There is absolutely no give and take and it works perfect for them. It works perfect for them because when things are good between you and them, they get what they want. And then when things get a little shaky, they leave you and still go get what they want. Do you see what I'm saying? No, this is no, this is, this is hell to the nay nay. That's what this is. Hell to the nay nay. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see here. So we have the three of wands. We have the queen of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have the three of pentacles. We have the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. We have the ten of pentacles. The Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We've got the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. Okay. Now, guys, on this side here, what we have going on is someone here who's always looking for someone else. Someone here is always looking for a third party. They always are, you know, they're always thinking that there's something better. They're always looking at the neighbor's yard. You know, the fact of the matter here, this is someone that doesn't understand that the grass is only green where you water it, okay? Other people's grass is going to look amazing because they're watering their own damn grass. You see what I'm saying? This person has no, they, don't, they have not matured to the level to understand that if they just water their own grass, everything will be fine. They, they are always looking for something better, okay? Whereas with the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, if they 
worked on a connection. They already have a pre-empress on their hands. They already have the best. Do you understand? They already have somebody to lay down a solid foundation with. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, I, I feel like they already know. You're already telling them, listen, I'm a nine. We're going to a ten. We have a future ahead of us. Like this person, it's like they know they have the best, but still, eh, I wonder what's over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so ridiculous, you know? And now this person is waking up and realizing with this tower falling here that, you know, oh boy, I, you know, there's nothing to come back to anymore. They're realizing that they have played this game for the last time. You see what I'm saying? They're realizing that they have played this game for the last time. Um, what do I want to use here? Let's use this one. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers? Tell me about this three of wands, please. Spirit, tell me about this three of wands. We've got the world card. Tell me about the queen of wands. We've got the hanged man, Piscean energy. Tell me about the three of pentacles. We've got the hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the nine of pentacles, the ace of swords. So what happens here is, is... This person needs to stop doing this with this world card. This person always longing for something else or thinking that there's something better. Either this needs to stop or this is what's going to end the relationship between you and this person. With the hanged man and the queen of wands, this person is constantly leaving you hanging to go look for other men and other women okay and then what happens is as they're withdrawn from you they see the light and they say oh wait i should go work on things with my cancer because they come to this awakening this realization they know they're not stupid that you're pre-empress you understand what i'm saying there's nothing out there that's better than the love that you're giving them tell me about the ten of pentacles We've got the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Page of Wands, and the Ace of Wands, okay? I feel here that you're over here, Cancer, there you are, Cancerian Energy, giving this person a Ten of Pentacles situation, and meanwhile, they're out there just, you know, looking for sexual encounters and one night stands. Like, I mean, how do you trade in, you know what I'm saying? It's like training a diamond for a crack rock, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're looking for meaningless situations and risking a ten of pentacles and a pre-empress like come on you know what i'm saying page of swords we've got the magician virgo gemini energy this person is starting to realize here that this manipulative little game that they've been playing is over with the tower here there you are the king of cups you've gotten to the point cancerian energy that listen linda I may love you, but I have gotten to the point where I can control my emotions now. This time you left and you left for just a little too long. And now I am not, my heart is not on my sleeve anymore. You know what I'm saying? You're just letting this tower fall. You are holding back from this person. You're just not interested. I'm getting a level of just like, I am not interested. You know, I am not interested. You're realizing that with that three of pentacles, you know, you want to lay a solid foundation here. You're in pre-empress mode. An empress creates, you know what I'm saying? You're ready to build a life, to start a life with somebody. And, you know, they keep knocking down this tower. You're getting tired of having to constantly rebuild it. We've got the, Herm uh, the Hierophant here, excuse me, Taurus energy. The Wheel of Fortune. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Sun, Leo Energy. We have the World. Yeah, you got that World there twice, guys. Here and here. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. We have Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. And we have the Four of Swords. Yeah. So, guys, listen, this is what's going on here. First of all, number one, with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune, you guys are blessed beyond measure. You are. You know what I'm saying? The Divine wants to bless you. Okay. Now, with that Wheel of Fortune, I also feel that there could be um, the Divine, you know, testing you here to see what you're going to do. 
With the Two of Swords and the Sun card, you know that cutting this person out of your life is going to lead to happiness. It is this chapter with this King of Pentacles needs to close, okay? This chapter needs to close here, okay? Um, with Temperance and the Four of Swords, you waited long enough, you've been patient long enough, and this person, what did I say, made you wait so long with that Four of Swords, you healed yourself this time. And there's no mystery anymore. Okay, there's no mystery here anymore. You know they were with another person, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just no mystery here anymore. Um, and with the Seven of Wands, you're just, you're pushing this away. You're pushing this away. You're cutting this out. Tell me about this Hierophant, please, Spirit. Now, this could also indicate that if you cut this person out, you may meet the one. You know what I'm saying? The Hierophant and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles. So, listen, we may have someone coming in here that you start dating that really wants to build a life with you, Cancer, okay? Two of Swords and the strength card, but you have to hold back from this person. You have to hold back. You have to cut them out. The sun card and the page of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. You have to tell this person, listen, I'm happy and it's over. You have broken my heart and want to go check out the neighbor's yard and, you know, go check out your options for the last time. King of pentacles, the two of swords. Yeah, you're cutting this king of pentacles out. Okay. Temperance, the chariot card, Cancerian energy. You have been patient. You have waited long enough. This angel, this healing angel has come in. They've healed your heart. You're ready to move forward, making decisions that are best for you. And with that four of swords and that eight of swords, you were stuck in your head about this person. I told you it wasn't easy for you. And that's why it's like a miracle that this is really over for you. I, I'm telling you, you were stuck in your head about this person, Cancer. Okay, you took this hard initially. You did. Okay, you really did. But you know what? After a certain period of time of not hearing from them and day after day after day after day that went by, you were able to emotionally disconnect and walk away. And now with that four of swords, you have healed. Yeah, you healed and I feel like you had other options and you took an offer. Maybe you decided to go and, you know, go out and meet somebody and that changed everything. That changed everything here. Scorpionic energy, uh, because you have somebody here that's actually willing to offer you all 10 of their cups. You know what I'm saying? All 10 of their cups and bring you to that. Oh, look, new love bringing you to that emperor status. See, your pre empress here, this person is willing to give you that cup to bring you to that empress status, okay? I'm seeing here, Cancer, that you have an offer here of a perfect counterpart coming in. Yeah, you're moving towards, look at this, pre-empress, the nine of pentacles. You are moving towards your four of wands, your perfect counterpart, getting married, but you have to move, you have to move on. You have to move away from this person. You have to move away from this person, Cancer. So let's see what the uh, challenge here is. Queen of cups and the king of cups. Ooh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Guys, you have may have met somebody, could be another water sign, doesn't have to be, but you guys may have met somebody that you know is the one. You guys may have met somebody that you know is the one. Um, it may be a little slow going because we saw that, you know, Knight of Pentacles, but we have here the Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. You are giving up on something and leaving something behind. Five of Pentacles, you are abandoning ship here. You are leaving because, I mean, we have a true pair on the board here, guys. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person messed up bad. They messed up bad, you know, and I think you've done this multiple times before. This person has gone off, went to go, you know, sleep with other people, and you waited home by the phone, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you did this time too. You did this time too, but I feel like they took so long to come back that you healed. This angel came in and was able to heal you. And, you know, through that process, I feel like you, for many of you, you met someone new. You learned here how to call in your soulmate. You took control. You were ready to release and bring something new into your life. And I feel like you found somebody here. Now, if you haven't met this person yet, they're coming. 
Okay, so let's take this into the extended cancer. Um, let's see what advice we could get for you from spirit. Let's find out about this king and queen of cups. Um, and I know for some of you, you're going to reconcile. I know some of you are going to reconcile with this king of pentacles. So we'll find out what's happening with this king and queen of cups. We'll find out what's happening with this king of pentacles, what the outcome will be for those of you who do decide to reconcile, because not everybody is going to let this go. Um, and then we'll king of king, king and queen of cups, and we'll find out what messages spirit has for you. Okay, um, the link will be in the description box below for the extended and in the comment section. I love you guys. Bye.